Taryn, I want to I want to kind of drill down a little bit about on Henry Ford and the five day work week, right? So, so so many work environments will say like, oh, you got to put five days in, you got to put five days in. Five days is is gospel. Five days is Bible. Uh, but the five day work week was the alternative. It was a safety measure because <laughs> prior to the whole industrial Re- revolution and some of the laws that were put in place. You just worked seven days, and it was seven days. It was seven days and long hours. Uh, you had child labor. You had all these uh, unsafe work conditions. So part of that evolution of making work better for the worker uh, and safer and better for the company was to put the five-day guardrails in. And so maybe somewhere over the last 200 years, we just kind of stopped thinking about like employee health and what it means to have a great work environment. So uh, for those of you who may be pushing back and say, oh, well, we, we only need to do the five out, five days, you know, just remember where it comes from. And, and now, you know, so kind of like that old uh, NBC, the more, you know, with the, uh, the rainbow at the end. Um, <laughs> yeah. Summer, what, what do you, what do you think about the five day uh, or four day work week? You know, I, I've actually had conversations with several clients and also my peers about this. And I, I love the idea. I think for companies that can offer any sort of perks to their team, uh, it, it makes sense to do so. And, you know, usually there's resistance because it's different and it's a departure from what they've done for so long. And it seems impossible, but I will tell you that as an employee who worked an alternate work schedule for over 10 years, I will say it is so valued. And once you start getting into the rhythm of what that alternate work schedule looks like from an organization, you adapt just like you do with anything else. And so if you're a company who's maybe thinking a four-day work week isn't realistic as a next step, I've talked in the past a little bit about a 980 work schedule, and that's like a half step getting there. Um, That's the the idea of it is a two week pay period that you are working essentially those 80 hours, but in nine days as opposed to the usual 10. So what that results in is every other Friday off. So again, it's a half step to get there. It's a great way to try it out to see, you know, can we dip a toe in the water? And I will say it's a great retention tool because there were a lot of team members that I spoke to over the years that said, gosh, you know what? I would have really considered that other company, but they have a traditional work schedule. And quite frankly, I like having 26 three-day weekends every year. And when you think about it that way, you realize the true impact and how life-changing this can truly be to your team members. So I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. So there was a um, a municipality here, uh, a, a city uh, in New Jersey, uh, Prospect Park City. And the mayor said, you know, Prospect Park is a blue collar town. So people work shift hours. So now having the opportunity to visit the municipal building up to 6.30 p.m. actually is more convenient for our residents. Mm-hmm. So... This article does a great job of presenting the idea of the four day work week, but also some of those variants to that and the fact that it can apply to more industries than you think. So uh, I think it's a an idea worth pursuing no matter what industry you're in, especially considering that uh, if you're not doing it, a competitor's probably offering it or is offering remote or is offering some sort of flexible working arrangement that is great for team members. And so I I wouldn't want our audience to get left behind in the whole trend of um, progressing towards a great work environment. 